Our next guest says this Christmas could be the last Christmas for a big retailer. That would be J.C. Penney. Bill Simon, former Walmart USA CEO and president of KKR Senior Advisor. That's where he is. Bill, welcome back to the uh, to the show. You're saying goodbye to J.C. Penney. Won't survive Christmas. Well, they've got their challenges, of course, Stuart. You know, it's been a difficult summer for them, and they're transitioning into the fall. Uh, I like some of their recent moves. I don't know their new CEO, but uh, they recently brought Michael Fung in as an interim chief financial officer, and Michael's a real pro. So if there's a hope there, I think that gives me some encouragement. But they're sort of backed into a corner. They don't have uh, the opportunity to grow. They've got strategic issues, and they don't have the, the, the financial resources to invest in the transformation that, that you know, Walmart and Target and some of the other companies do. So I don't see a lot of places for them to go right now. So, if they don't come up with a, a big home run uh, this Christmas, they're going to they're gonna have troubles. When you, when you say they're going to have trouble, are they gone? If they don't come up with a big home run this Christmas, are they gone? They're trading just north of a buck. Their market cap's 300 million or so. I think somebody's going to gobble them up if they don't have a good Christmas. Is there anybody else on the, uh, and I'm talking retailers now, any other retailer on the brink? Now, you could say Sears, but we know Sears is really down and out. Mm. Is there anybody else apart from J.C. Penney and Sears? Well, I mean, there's probably one too many department stores in the marketplace today. You know, Neiman seems to be having, they all taking their time in, in the breach, and Neiman's having some debt issues, and so I'd keep an eye on them. Well, wait, wait a uh, second, Bill, grocers. wait a second. Look, we're all going to keep an eye on something. I do understand that. But are uh -huh. you telling me that Neiman Marcus is in such trouble that if it doesn't have a fabulous Christmas, it's gone? You saying that? No. No, I think they survived Christmas, but I think if they don't have a good Christmas, they'll be pretty weak on the backside. Okay. Walmart, you used to, be, uh, used to run the Walmart USA. Um, are they the biggest threat to Amazon, do you think? Uh, probably their biggest competitor that Amazon has right now, but I think what's happening in retail, and, and today's a great example of it, is that there's a bit of schizophrenia going on with investors, and it's, it's all caused by Amazon, not by Amazon in the marketplace, which is, you know, one story that's been really well covered, but Amazon in the financial markets, they've sort of re, you know, re recalibrated everything and said, you've got to give me massive top line growth. Uh, and then I don't care so much about profit, except companies like Target, who now delivered a really strong sales report um, and, and, of course, had to invest some money to be able to do it, is getting hammered on the backside. So the but treatment why is that, that's Bill? happening. Why, why, is, why is Target getting hammered when its same store sales were up 5%? Well, it's just being evaluated as a traditional retailer when the Amazon, Amazon and, and, and the tech companies have sort of set this e-commerce paradigm. You know, Amazon, interestingly enough, got hammered in their recent earnings report because uh, they, they finally made just a little bit of profit and, and we saw that impact their sales. So I don't think you'll see that again from them. Target is a really well-run company. Brian Cornell, the CEO, and Kathy Smith, the CFO, they're real pros, and they're going to figure it out. I think it's a great company right now, and I'm really impressed with their earnings. Investment required, of course, okay. but I think they'll go forward in a, in a really strong way. Hey, Bill Simon, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. We'll keep an eye on J.C. Penney, and that's a promise. We're <laughs> queuing the organ yes, music. Sir. All right, Bill, thanks.